About a uh, few days ago, the incident uh, involving uh, Sri Lanka Navy uh, soldiers uh, who have uh, visited the kitchen of a, a Roman Catholic church in uh, Nigambo. Uh, I think it's Kurana uh, Nigambo the Roman Catholic Church and uh, these Sri Lanka Navy soldiers have informed the, the, the cook uh, inside the, uh, the church uh, kitchen about uh, the possibility of uh, another like attack on the uh, churches of the Roman Catholic Church. And actually, uh, this uh, is because uh, when, when there are any uh, subtle intelligent clues, because uh, situations like this, uh, if there is a pending uh, disaster, sometimes it's like a brain, mind and cognitive process uh, flash. Sometimes you people get like that. So, or uh, some other information when you read the newspapers or social media or through the social conversation, someone can gather such a intelligence. And then, uh, well, uh, that is why I think the Sri Lanka Navy soldiers have informed me to the cook inside the Roman Catholic Church, Kurana Nikambo, the uh, the church cook, rather than informing the parish priest of the church. Uh, because uh, these uh, traditionally we know that uh, when it comes to such subtle, uh, very uh, like a soft uh, clue about a pending disaster, uh, it's not possible to, you know, uh, officially discuss about it. Then the uh, because without uh, having any uh, basis uh, as to what to do. Uh, when uh, the Navy or Air Force or Army or Special Task Force or uh, a, a Police Department, when they get a, such a clue, it, will, it won't be possible to discuss it openly in this, uh, these situations. But rather, uh, those uh, information need to be passed to a possible you know, victim uh, from a, such a, uh, information that they have got as a clue. So, because it, it's not, it's like a more like a very subtle gossip uh, which cannot be taken into the parish priest rather, directly in an authoritative, uh, you know, way, uh, officially, because once you inform such a thing and if, if there's a reverse of that, and uh, that means uh, if the other party come up with a contradictory uh, statement and say, no, no, either the church or the, the party who was supposed to do the attack on that day, if they contradict this, uh, you know, in a in a in another different uh, way, then of course it, it's another uh, harmful effect on the country. That is why the those information are passed like that into the uh, cook inside the church. Uh, somehow, uh, some some person inside the church had been informed about it. Then, but uh, the thing is, on the other hand, uh, these uh, pending uh, attacks uh, that they have, I think, got some clue. Uh, so, th they originate from uh, outside the country. It's not the uh, liberation of tigers of Tamil Ilam or within the country. They are uh, like a Muslim groups who are now, uh, you know, uh, doing uh, these terrorist activities or pending terrorist activities or if they purposefully send a clue to Sri Lanka or whether it was a true clue that may have, would have, uh, you know, evolved into another disaster like the Easter Carnage 2018, uh, well, the thing is it, it's coming from out, uh, outside source, uh, from the country, possibly from uh, ISIS, Islamic uh, State uh, terrorist groups, or from India. So, because India has a historical, uh, you know, background in uh, doing those things to the liberation tigers of Tamil Elam, uh, because uh, the Tamil community is vast uh, in India, Sri Lanka, and uh, the whole uh, world, their population is nearly about 80 million, uh, whereas Sinhalese population is about 1.5 million uh, in Sri Lanka and with, uh, totally around the globe, it's uh, almost about 3 or 4 million. So uh, when it comes to such a huge uh, pressure, uh, you know, uh, it's not uh, possible to uh, do anything because those are international uh, terrorist organizations. So international terrorist organizations uh, neither we can officially take up, uh, you know, those subtle clues to the uh, the possible victims or the group party who are going to be a victim soon, uh, rather than informing it to the kitchen uh, staff in the churches like the Sri Lanka Navy did earlier. So probably because Sri Lanka Navy soldiers have informed the coastal belt uh, Catholic Church in Nikambo means probably it originated from India. That may be the reason. So.
so this is the reason. So uh, I think uh, in that case, the other problem is, uh, uh, the, you know, once it had been informed to the cook inside the Roman Catholic Church in Ligambo, Kurana, uh, the cook has informed the uh, villagers and, the, uh, and also the parish priest of the church and then the parish priest has informed me to the, uh, you know, the father uh, Cyril Fernando, uh, who is now more like a, like a uh, substitute in the Cardinal Ranjit Malcolm as the Archbishop, and then uh, it has gone into newspapers, and not only that, the villagers have also got uh, excited about it, and they have it has created a havoc in the area. So in in that situation, the, you know, if it has taken in the wrong spirit by the parish priest of the Roman Catholic Church or the Father uh, Cyril Fernando or the Roman Catholic hierarchy has represented and substituted uh, these days uh, since Archbishop Randit Malcolm appeared only today or yesterday on the papers. Well, if they took it in the wrong way by publicizing it in the mass media, then they of course have to take the full accountability and responsibility for doing that. Because if they had any doubts about this, uh, whether uh, Sri Lanka Navy is a legally incorporated, uh, you know, armed force, naval force through the parliament made uh, law. So if they cannot, uh, you know, take such clues in that way, if they are not either intelligent enough, the Roman Catholic, uh, you know, parish priest at Nigambo, this particular church, or the Roman Catholic church hierarchy or the substitute hierarchy in Sri Lanka, and if, if either if they are not intelligent, uh, probably, uh, or they are not concerned, or they are taking into their hands the authoritative, uh, you know, power of their, uh, you know, outside international uh, church uh, beyond the shores of Sri Lanka. So in that case, because it it, it is proven here, since uh, the, it's the Roman Catholic Church who took it to the mass media, and if they give such mass media publicity, you know, it, it's disgraceful because. Uh, it's the same Sinhalese Roman Catholics and the Sinhalese uh, and the Tamil Roman Catholics who would, you know, point the finger at the Roman Catholic Church hierarchy and the parish priest in Nigambo for doing that. Because uh, Sri Lanka Navy, officially thereafter, once they found that the, uh, the villagers in the area got excited uh, about this matter and they, they, it created havoc among, for the normal people, uh, they officially came up and said, no, no, this is not a true, this it is just a uh, false uh, statement. Because then the common people, you know, after all, the common people who are the normal citizens of Sri Lanka, they understand the genuine truthfulness of the Sri Lanka Navy than their own uh, Roman Catholic uh, parish priest or the Roman Catholic Church hierarchy here or abroad. So that reflects bad on the Roman Catholic Church once more. Uh, that is a major issue here. So the, the thing is, as long as the, you know, the, uh, the Vatican, Roman Catholic Church, try to, you know, uh, mess with the Roman Catholic Church system in Sri Lanka, this is what happens. This is wrong. The, this type of, you know, uh, higher, uh, Roman Catholic Church hierarchy try to, you know, uh, take control uh, without considering that the Sri Lanka Navy soldiers are salaried government servants. They are not like uh, sea tigers, terrorists of the uh, naval unit of the liberation tigers of uh, Tamil Nadu. So they have to treat it accordingly. They have to take it accordingly and uh, deal it the same way it came to the kitchen uh, cook. Then they have to take it up same way with the, I think probably with the, uh, another informal way uh, with the Sri Lanka Navy and verify it rather than giving publicity in the mass media and the whole village getting excited about it and disrupting their normal ordinary life during this COVID-19 pandemic where they are already under a lot of pressure. So, uh, you know, this is a major issue. Any outside party, because of the Easter carnage on uh, April 21st, July, to, uh, April 21st, uh, 2018, now, any other external party can destabilize the normal life by passing on such clues and manipulate the system. So I think Sri Lanka Navy must uh, uh, look, it, look at this matter very carefully because without, you know, in future particularly, because any other outside party can uh, give a false impression that there will be like a, th a sim similar impression, subtle clue uh, to be passed to the Sri Lanka Navy and Sri Lanka Navy in case it takes it truthfully and then pass it like this to the Roman Catholic Church uh, kitchen staff, 
well, it creates havoc and, uh, you know, disruption to the community in the area, in Nigongo. So I think the Sri Lanka Navy must seriously look into this and uh, have access to uh, two aircraft carriers uh, to, you know, to protect the uh, east coast of Sri Lanka and also the west coast of Sri Lanka and also the South uh, Indian Ocean and also two uh, uh, submarine uh, dock ports in uh, three uh, rather submarine dock ports in uh, Mana or the Mantit uh, ancient pay, uh, port area in the uh, east uh, west coast of Sri Lanka and Trincomalee in the west coast, uh, east coast rather, uh, west coast and east coast and then the south uh, in Gaul. So such a mechanism would, uh, you know, uh, prevent any uh, external terrorist organizations or any external government uh, intelligence agencies or any external country uh, you're trying to manipulate because when you have a, such a strong presence on the sea, uh, you know, fearing reprisals, uh, they will not come up with uh, this type of manipulations outside the country because that uh, always disrupts the normal civilian life in Nigambo. Uh, in, in future, I think Sri Lanka Navy cannot now go and even tell the kitchen staff about it in a, kitchen, in a Roman Catholic church, but rather they uh, follow my advice and have access to the uh, aircraft carrier ships and uh, uh, submarine units to show the outside parties that uh, it is a serious matter where uh, action will be taken, uh, particularly through underwater the submarines in, in such cases. So uh, I think... Uh, uh, when it comes to this terrorist organization involvement, international terrorist organizations are involvement in Sri Lanka starting from the July, uh, April 21st, uh, 2018 Easter carnage, uh, because uh, the, even the present president, uh, Gotabia, Mr. Gotabia Rajapaksha, as the commander-in-chief or the popular support is to Prime Minister Mahinda Rajapaksha, his, uh, you know, the elder brother, None of them took it up in the parliament uh, or even issued a statement warning the external terrorist organizations in future of any kind of uh, similar Easter carnage uh, 2018, uh, April 21st, that Sri Lanka will be severely dealing with them. So it, it shows uh, either because it's uh, we don't have the necessary warships and the submarines or aircraft carrier ships to you know, to uh, take the uh, uh, Lanka, under Sri Lanka Navy uh, fighter jet squadrons on a Sri Lanka uh, Air Force, Navy aircraft carrier to the Arabian Sea and then execute these attacks on those who carried out it uh, from the, uh, you know, the uh, claimed land of the Islam State in um, uh, Syria, uh, Iraq. Uh, so, uh, so due to this situation, I think Sri Lanka Navy must take full responsibility. They cannot. Uh, you know, blame the government after all for lack of uh, equipment. They are more professionally trained uh, and a uh, legally enacted uh, navy uh, by the parliament, uh, which means that they represent the sovereignty of the people. They can, they have to take the blame if they don't have the aircraft carrier ships or the submarine units or even to uh, carry out a, you know, a counter. Uh, attack on those who did it from Iraq or Syria. They have to take the blame. Politicians cannot be held liable because after so many years, since 1948, if Sri Lanka Navy still don't have submarine units, well, that of course they are pathetic, uh, unprofessional, uh, you know, uh, careers in the Navy. That That's the only indication. Yeah. So they must negotiate and look into this matter to obtain the re relevant uh, naval hardware to uh, carry out a future uh, successful uh, preventive counter steps uh, to prevent this type of manipulations uh, uh, to the civilian life in the uh, Nigambo area especially.